Hey guys, Chris Casaselli here, uh, training out of Gracie Smith and Grange in Canada Valley Wrestling. I've competed on Subversion seven times. My first match was the Quintet at Purple Belt. I actually didn't even make the uh, Quintet team. I was out Jacob and Izzy went before me, but they had a fight coming up. And so I got a call in the afternoon, there was someone pulled out and then I got the I got the call up and I said sweet. I had nothing nothing to do that afternoon, so I went in and yeah, it was it was a good match. It ended in a draw. Uh, I just remember shaking hands and then just shooting for a double leg straight away, just trying to finish him and just lucky we had a good team because we ended up winning it. It was good. My second match was against Hayden Linebeer and yeah, he's always been a beast. We used to train with each other back at TP Gym under Alex Prates. This is over 10 years ago so it was always you know it was always going to be a bit of a grudge match but you know he's very clever very strong athletic guy his leg attacks and just the way he moves and just his will to win was just a bit too much for me that day i've got no excuse but it was tough i remember coming out pretty pretty hard and shooting for the leg and making him slip and think a few times but yeah when, when we when we entangled up there it was just too smart for me so my third match was against Dakota Franks and he was a Gracie Baja guy. I think he still is, I'm not too sure. Haven't seen him for a while, but that was a match as well. That was a bit of a grudge match. He, he actually called me out. He messaged George and so we had to go into that one. And um, like he got me a few years earlier with a footlock in, in the comp. So I really wanted to get one back at him, but you know, it ended up being just another scramble again. I shot early with a, a double leg and I think that that just won me the match because it was pretty neck and neck the whole time. We were both both gear guys going for leg attacks, so it was it was pretty it was pretty out there, it was pretty wild. So Sub City 3 came across Brad Caddo and we've met probably four or five times in, in different competitions beforehand as well. So I knew what I was in for. He's a very crafty guy, loves loves fighting off his back and attacking the legs and the triangles especially Almost had me in a triangle and I just slipped out, which was lucky. And then he was attacking my foot and I saw his foot in front of me and just went for it. I think it was some sort of toe hold and yeah, it was, that was a pretty, pretty wild match. Through COVID as well, so there was no crowd. So I was excited, it was something different. My next match was against Alan Philpott and I always knew he was going to be a tough, willing guy. He, um, we've competed a few times before and he's, all, he's always He's always been a game competitor and um, he actually wanted this match as well. So it was good to get in there. He's had about 50 professional MMA fights as well, fought one FC, so I was never going to count him out. And so we had a few good scrambles. I got lucky, got on top, and I think I finished him with a Kimura armbar from North South. So it was good. That was a good day too. It trained really hard in, in the World Cup for that, so I stoked with the outcome. My next one was a very special one for me. It was the first time actually competing at Black Belt. And it was my first super fight in a gi as well. My other ones were you no know, gi besides the quintet. So I was a bit nervous and I knew I was coming up against you know, second degree Black Belt and Pablo Rujo. And he was, he was really, really good. He was tough. That was, I just remember, just didn't care about the result at the end. I was just happy to get off the stage. I was so tired. Ended up getting the takedown of the night, and I think that that's probably just what put me over the edge and winning. That was could have went either way. It was a split decision, I think. So it was good. The last one I had was against Cash Douglas, and you know I've, I've competed against him before, trained with him back in the day, a long time ago, once or twice, and I knew he was, he was strong, he's tough, and you know again, just a super game competitor. He was going to come come after me, you know, a lot stronger than me. I've got no excuses with that one. Same thing with Hayden, just, you know, got caught with that leg entanglement, he just got me there, so just we'll hopefully see him down the track. Not too soon, but we'll see, we'll see there. My next match coming up is against Josh Kulubiel, who is a UFC fighter, so pretty excited about this one. You know, I did compete against his, his, uh, training partner Alan Philpott so I, I know what I'm in for just a guy who's going to come be a strong scrambler and you know again he's got a pretty strong MMA pedigree a few submission wins as well so I'm not going to count him out at all I'm just going to go out there and hopefully get the job done.